Welcome to this intro on building a kit model airplane. We're assuming a very basic build and we're going to use this old Monogram 148 scale SB2C Hell Diver. This is a World War II dive bomber that was used by the United States Navy. This particular kit I got on eBay very cheaply and it represents many of the less expensive kits that are available for people to work on to sort of polish their skills. Not a particularly great kit, but perfect for our needs. Now I have to start off by saying the enemies of building a decent model are impatience and clutter. This is a form of art that takes patience and concentration, even to do a basic build. Now there are a couple of things I'm going to recommend before we start. First, make sure you have a clear work area. You want to have a rag nearby, preferably clipped to the table or something, so it'll be right where you need it when you need it, and you can drop it out of the way easily, and some place to toss trash. When you set up your workspace, try to make sure that everything is to the side or in front of you and that you don't have to reach over the model for anything, because you're almost guaranteed to break something if you do. Anything you can have that'll help hold things in place is a great asset. The first thing you want to do when you get the model is do an inventory, make sure everything's there. I find that opening the boxes and setting them apart, leaving you one box with all the parts and one with the tray is great because you can move things from one to the other as you inventory them. The four basic things you'll find inside the box are a set of instructions, the plastic kit itself, the decal sheet, and the clear plastic parts. Before you get started, one thing you want to do is read the instruction sheet and have a bit of a build plan. Now we're not going to go into a lot of detail in this model, so we're not going to worry about detailing the interior very much. There are two basic types of paints for model airplanes. There's acrylics and there's enamels. Each has their relative advantages. Acrylic paints are water-based, although many people prefer to use isopropyl alcohol or denatured alcohol to clean the brushes. They dry very quickly and that saves a lot of time, but they also come off the model easily. By comparison, enamel paints take much longer to dry and you have to use either paint thinner or acetone to clean the brushes and your hands and to thin them if you're going to use a spray gun. Now we're not going to use a spray gun for this model. This is a very basic build. Normally enamels need at least two hours to properly dry, but quite frankly, you're best just to leave them overnight. The good thing about enamels is they bite into the plastic so they make a very, very hard surface paint. The downside is if you make a mistake, acrylics are easier to get off. Enamels, eh, you got a problem. Once we've inventoried the model and we know we have all of our parts, we open the instructions and we get started. The basic types of glue you can use, Testers makes a non-toxic glue. There's also the very popular CA glue. This is a very popular glue. It's similar to crazy glue. Be careful which one you get because they have different thicknesses of the liquid. This is a gap sealer, so it's thicker, and they have different drying times. Some dry very quickly and some take quite a while. There's also putty that can be used to seal up cracks. This is very common because very few models go together perfectly. The other type of glue you can use is standard testers glue. I do know that some people will claim they can use white glue, especially on the clear components, but you have to be very careful with that because it can take a very, very long time to dry and often gives a weak seal. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our parts from the sprue. That's what these plastic framings are called. We're going to pre-fit them. Make sure you pre-fit your parts before you put any glue on anything. We're going to shave off what's called flash. That's the excess plastic. And of course you need to trim off where it attached to the sprue. Then it's a matter of taking some clamps if you have them or rubber bands or tape. Keep that handy so when you put parts together you have something to hold pressure on them until they harden. Now this is where the patience kicks in. You can build various sub-assemblies in advance. Make sure to read the instructions so that you're not putting something together that you're going to have to take apart later to fit back into the model. Once you've applied your glue and put your parts in there, you need to step back and go do something else and let the glue harden. Once you have the internal components put together, you put them in the fuselage, and then of course, you put the fuselage halves together. One reason it's important to have the glue harden before you try to put the halves together is parts 
will move if there are several parts inside, which this model has, that are supposed to be connected to both halves. So let the glue harden and then put the other half on, being careful to line up all the pins that go into the other half. Then you can rubber band it or tape it or put clamps on it and let it harden. Once you have your sub-assemblies constructed according to the instructions, you can start putting things together. But when you do, remember, put something together, clamp it down, and wait for the glue to harden. Don't try to do this thing all at one sitting. This is one reason fast drying CA glues are popular. Often it only takes 30 seconds to a minute for the parts to dry. Tester's glue can be up to two hours. And remember, it's like the old Brill Cream commercials, a little dab will do you. Do not start laying lots of glue on there. It'll take forever to dry or it may not dry at all. And if you put too much, remember it is an acid that welds the plastic together. If you use too much, it will simply eat through the plastic. Now that we have all of our sub-assemblies together, let them harden. Now since this is just a basic build, we're just gonna use a brush to paint some acrylics and make the airplane essentially one color. The kit is molded in color, and if you're just building something to hang over your kid's bed or something, you may not even have to paint it. But we're assuming you want it to look kind of nice, even though this is a basic build, so we're gonna make it one uniform color. And since we had to use putty to seal up some of those rather large cracks, the paint will make it look nice. We have the sub-assemblies done while they're over there hardening. We're now gonna take our clear plastic parts now I went ahead and dipped these in floor wax, future floor wax, which is very common. A lot of modelers do that because it helps protect the plastic, but you don't have to. And once it hardened, I'm now going to paint the framing. Now in a more advanced build, we'd spend a lot of time taping this off and probably use a spray gun. But since this is a basic build, I'm just going to go ahead and hand paint it. And this is something that takes a lot of practice. You are going to make mistakes. You are going to mess up a lot of canopies. It's just the way it is. It's one of the trickiest parts of the build. Some people, if they're doing a basic build, don't even paint the frame on the canopy, but it really does enhance the appearance of the model. Take your time, go slow, be careful, use both hands. Use something to clamp the canopy so it will not move. It also helps, if you can, to paint both the inside and the outside of the frame because you will find that many of these paints are a little on the translucent side. And if you paint both the back and the front of the canopy, it gives it a more solid look. Again, not crucial, but it's nice. Now that we've brushed on an even coat of paint, we're gonna put on the decals. These are water slide decals. Make sure to let them soak until they are coming off the paper on their own and use clean water. And we'll just put them on very gently. And that all looks good. Anybody notice anything wrong? <laughs> put it on the wrong wing. Make sure you have the model oriented in the correct direction. Well, we're using white glue to put the canopy glass on, and I'm just going to let that set overnight, and uh, we're pretty much done. Here is our basic airplane, a very basic build, and uh, using uh, CA glue and acrylic paints uh, sped things up greatly. And uh, in the next build, we'll start going into some uh, more detail on how to make a, a nicer one. And, uh, but this is just the basics. And great little hobby. Relax, don't rush it, take your time, and uh, enjoy. It.